Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of a new series of Soul Ash. I'm Icon and we're playing the new Mushroom Man race. Meet Shroom, the Mushman Berserker. So what's new about this series is I am playing for the first time in YouTube series with the durability turned on. So this is a real vanilla game, no mods. I decided to take on the challenge now for real and let's see how this will play out so far the big new things that this race bring are quite easily broken down we have a little bit of extra strength and intelligence and i move faster on grass beyond that i didn't see too many new things about this race we'll see about that what's going to be really interesting with this run is the fact that i'll have to worry about the durability of my items right from the get-go so we will have some pressure in this regard right now i'm running around with two hand axes these are actually way too good to use them for what i'm using them for right now but what can i do this is part of the job so let's run around and look for a safer area to to go for. Let's see, route to Darkfoot Watch. So I know this world a little bit already. So I know that this is the fortress, this is the mining camp, and this is uh, this is the the village. So we're going to head towards the mountain range here and follow it in the northern direction because I want to go towards the Broken Temple and the Gnome Village. Oh sheesh. Here's an Org Raider. So let's rage. And how to wait. So, ah, press R. So let's see. Holy moly, I'm doing a lot of damage. Good stuff. So, we got ourselves our first pieces of stuff. And let's just swap over to that primitive sword right away. Because I don't want my good weaponry to be used up for unimportant enemies. So, here is a black bear. That's bad. Uh, a brown bear. We don't have any chance against this dude, so we'll we'll better make a run for it. A brown bear is among the worst things that can happen to you in the early game, and you're basically just hoping to get to lose this guy somehow again. So a merchant doesn't really do anything to me, and. Looks like the, the bear is gone. Okay. So here's the village I was talking about. And there's already a dead person lying around. So I see a decent chance that we actually see a ruined version of that little village there. Okay. I made it up here without the brown bear. So that's, that's a good start, I'd say. Let's sleep a moment to regain our powers and start dismembering the whole village here. So I'm really looking forward to the experience of doing this all with crafting and durability loss because when I started out with this game I hated the idea because it really bothered me. Skirt recipe. But now that I know so much more about the game I really really want to try out and see how it feels now. Because with the infinite durability mods, I, I felt like I was uh, skipping out on a certain layer of the game. So for example, these stones, we definitely can create ourselves weapons out of these. Look at that. And therefore, everything has its use now, and that's a cool thing. Straw. So here goes. No villagers. I should definitely berserk whenever I can. That's extremely important. So, 
salvage stuff. And I've chosen the Berserker out of two reasons. First off, I found the idea of a Mushroom Man Berserker outright hilarious. And the other thing was a Berserker just needs strength as his key stat. And that's a pretty good thing if you want to craft a lot. Because this means that you'll have plenty of carrying capacity. And I don't want to make it harder for myself than necessary. So, that's the thought process behind that. So let's salvage things. I probably should consider bringing some intelligence in the course of this. And here's a divine shirt. Hell yeah. Bringing the intelligence I was asking for. Brilliant. So I learned to make rags. So whenever I hear, you hear that bling sound, that means we've learned something new. And learning new recipes is extremely important in this run. Because right now I'm a little bit unhappy with the fact that I'm using my hand axe right now. It's a way too good weapon for what for the enemies that I'm beating down right now, but what can I do? You can't change it for the time being. So, all in all, I'm looking forward to this experience, and I hope you guys will enjoy this as much as I do here. So, by the way, to all the fine fans of my other characters in the other series, they aren't abandoned. They will be played in the future, still. Don't you worry. Tiny and Grug are not forgotten. I just don't feel like playing them lately. So I found a spear. Spears are a no-go, because they scale with dexterity, and dexterity is one stat that I'm definitely not going to use. But what I'm going to use is that fake moustache. I'm a mushroom man with a fake moustache. Nobody will. Nobody will notice it's me. I didn't come up with this. I didn't start this. Don't blame me for, for using it. Jokes aside, let's get a horse one. Recipe, short bow. Well, I don't know how interesting a short bow will be in the long run, but we'll see about that. What's definitely a step forward and feeling good is the fact that I don't need to worry about walking into walls anymore. Playing a golem hat, it's a big downside. So let's craft that stone axe. It has woodcutter qualities. That's one thing I'm interested I find very interesting in this. But it also is a oh it's a two-hand weapon, never mind. Yeah, okay. Then it's just going to be for the sake of having a tree cutting tool. Whoopsie. I really thought that this would be a one-handed weapon. Well, well, let's keep exploring. I'm really careful because level 1, your character is really vulnerable. You're really, really weak, and you're hardly making any big difference when you're running into something you can't handle. That's why I like running up to this mountain here. Yes, the brown bear is a little bit scary, but like you saw, it wasn't too hard to get uh, to lose him. I mean, I think this is also because I had movement bonus in the vicinity of grass and the like. But I have made a uh, have made this not for this run not for the first time. This this brown bear is always there, and uh, running away from him is part of your early game experience, so to say. Okay, so I got me hand axes, but. I got them safe, that's what I'm trying to say. There we go. So what I don't have right now is a butchering tool. I love this uh, scream sound when I uh, when I turn on my Berserker Reach. I find that hilarious. So, so far, things are going really well. The primitive knife has cutter quality, so let's stick with that for the moment. It might be a little bit ridiculous, but it's the best I can do right now. Extra uh, versions of that will be salvaged. So yeah, maybe I want some intelligence for 
the sake of crafting. We'll see about that. I mean, intelligence also gives you another wonderful tra uh, trait, treat, whatever. You gain, um, you gain scaling of elemental damage. Intelligence improves every type of non-physical damage. The more intelligence you have, the better. So I got the berry salad. Let's wait with the usage until I'm accordingly hungry. So this place, there's lots of bats. And they yield experience. Or experience per bat. I mean, this sounds like not much, but if you just need 100 experience to level up, it is actually quite a lot. That's why I like this place. You gain so much easy, cheesy, early game XP from this place that you're basically getting your level 2 for free. So, a torch. Well, not really a good weapon. Let's go uh, back downstairs. I could be hunting those remaining um, bats, but honestly, it's just a very tedious thing to do. So, butchering this brought me some meat. I still should rather cook it. Can I cook this here? No. This little thing here is no cooking spot. I should cook it, but in a pinch, I can also eat it. Those cavians here in the, in the tunnel were a quite nice meal. So, let's, let's wash up. And the food situation is something that I need to pay attention to, because right now I don't own any huge stockpiles of food or anything, so it still does matter a lot. Here, Primitive Axe. That's what I've been looking for. Let's salvage that thing for the bones. And I basically will salvage pretty much almost everything that I run across now simply because it is so good to have those resources. I also have to put up a base here. So there's a lot of different gameplay experience now with the whole durability thing enabled. And that's what I've been looking for. You know? Jeez, that mountain goat. 70 HP. It's almost bossier than the gnomes here. So level two. Bull charge. Rush forward six tiles. Do physical damage. Sure thing. A rush is always good. I wonder if I can use this also to um let's put up some intelligence, yeah. I wonder if I can use this also to just invalid target. Target must have health. So but I can use structures because structures have HP. And you have it. So you can use the skill to get out of bad situations in a pinch. Perfect. That's what I've been hoping. That's what I've been hoping there. So let's rest up until we're healed. So take up a moment. And then let's see. I'm so I'm so happy that we got this game back up and running. I was very happy to see the um, new edition of the Mushroom Man. Because this game is really, really a fun ride. Let's see how much fun we'll have with a fungi. So, and the and the whole crafting system. So, disassembling all that stuff to gain more and more materials to work with. So that bull rush skill will allow me to get out of out of bad situations, as long as there's some structure I can dash into, which isn't necessarily hard to achieve, you know. Linen pants, hell yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so. I don't know how interesting stones will remain here in the long run, but let's give them a little bit of attention for now. 
rags off the profit. Well, I already got a purple suit of laughable uh, piece of uh, shirt, so I don't need any similar thing there. Okay. So let's rest up until we're no longer exhausted and let's rest up until we're healed. Okay. So far, so good. I feel like this place is a nice spot to set up camp at, but we'll see about that. Ugh. Let's sleep until the small hours because I'm really annoyed by running around at night time. This is one of the least fun experiences in the game, to just not be able to look what's happening there. I'm really happy that this sleep until the small hours thing has been patched into the game, because it wasn't it wasn't there when we started out. It's a pretty new feature. So... Here we got our first primitive weapons worn down, so let's see what I can create for myself. Not much, I shouldn't have dismantled these. Whatever, let's use the short sword and I need to replenish my weaponry a bit. Let's keep salvaging the broken weapons because repairing them isn't hardly worth it. You have to reduce, you'll have 10 points max durability loss. I mean, with 60 points total durability, probably it is worth it, but I don't even have anywhere where I could repair stuff at right now, so this whole situation is highly theoretical. So let's rest up again until we're healed. I'm rather cautious here before I go in like a moron and just die. Early game, you that's where you are where you are the weakest, basically. Let's create ourselves a bandage. Bandages are awesome. You really, really want some of them in your inventory. You're speeding up your healing process by a lot with bandages. Straw hat. Well, too bad that those pitchforks are two-handed weapons, but whatever. Can't change that. So, let's have some mushrooms for breakfast, and head over to the fountain. So, go. Rest up a bit, and hunt that mountain goat. It sounds a bit ridiculous, but they, got, they give 10 XP each, and you can butcher them down and gain some nice rations from that as well. Here are four meat. What do you want more from nature? Okay, so wait a sec, there's uh, mushrooms lying around. Mushrooms are awesome. I'm a mushroom myself, I must know. So let's keep exploring the rest of this part. Ooh, look at that. So I was wrong. There are actually all the things we need here to craft and to repair stuff. Nice. So, well, this makes this place all, all the more interesting as a first base of sorts. Because with the, necess the necessity of crafting, you, you do need to have some place to fall back to, to store some materials and the like. Wow. Hitting like a truck while I'm berserking. So let's use that rush. Yeah, I can't fight this. No problem at all. So let's check the status of the weapons. Not too shabby either. Let's pick up stuff.
So I'll probably just keep all the magic weapons for now. Bandana. Okay. A bandage. A primitive sword. Okay. Yay! I learned to craft the primitive sword. That's good. Short bow and bows. Uh, arrows. So, let's salvage these things for now. Can I already craft arrows? No, I can't. There we go. So, just wanted to learn that. I don't know if I'm going to use arrows at some point in the game, but for the time being, I feel better knowing how to produce them. So I don't want to go this direction any deeper because there's just stuff that I can't handle in this direction. And I also don't have any light source on me. And it's just rather annoying to explore undergrounds like that. So we're just a couple of HP left from our first level up. Uh, away, just a couple of um, HP XP away, sorry. So... Let's see how much I can whip up here. A recipe for a hat. Didn't expect to find that here. So, the only thing that I haven't found here so far was a spot where I can look at. Maybe that'll show up as well. Hey, there's a fish lying around. How on earth? Does a fish get on a mountain? Well, we'll probably never know. So, yeah, a cooking spot is the only thing that's lacking here for this place. Maybe I have overlooked it, though, into this also there. Who knows? But no. But nevertheless, there's a repair station and a smelter here. So creating our metals here will be no problem whatsoever. That's really good news. That's really, really good news. So let's get down the mountain and see how we can finish off that little village there. So it's late evening. Just the right time to start off this attack. Mainly because this means that I will be able to escape from stuff easier once the sun falls. There's still this brown bear around that I'm afraid of, you know. So weapon-wise, I got one axe to replace my stuff. That's okay. But I still have to loot stuff here. So, boom. Mansfield. All of a sudden it's dark. So there's a wheat field. We could harvest wheat if we want to wheat lying around and there's a cooking spot so let's cook that meat it's just so much more nutritious once it's cooked there we go so we can cook mushrooms and the like okay That'll get me somewhere. But as a matter of fact, well, the dark hours is not, aren't helping me here. Mahurg. That doesn't sound too much like a human scream. Well, we'll see about that. Especially when you're low level. Creeping around like that in the darkness can have its advantages. So, fishmen. We can slaughter fishmen and transform them into yummy food quite easily. So this house has been burned down. This house has an upstairs. So look, it's the local tavern. Is there anybody still alive? I don't think so. Let's rest until... Wait a sec. It 
it's already small hours okay i just wanted to say it's rest until the small hours but obviously i already managed to get the night around that's great okay fresh meat that doesn't sound like a humanoid uh, inhabitant of the city either so yeah it's the ransacked version of Mansfield, so that's fun. So... Incubus. I didn't expect to see something like that. So, 10 XP for me. Another dagger. Let's salvage that directly. And I'll go upstairs, because these guys roughed me up quite hard. And I'll rather rest up. There's nothing worse in this game than being low HP and roaming around against stuff that you're not capable of tackling. I would rest up a lot quicker now if I'd use uh, one, of my, uh, one of my bandages, but... They are valuable goods, which need to be preserved, you know. So, Altar to the God of Farming. The God of Farming is one of the weakest dudes, and... Well, probably one of the first gods we'll actually kill by ourselves. Because once you hit level 4, the game will always toss one random god at you. Can't do much about that. It's hard coded into the game to do this to you. So let's sort out our inventory a bit. Nevertheless, this little altar here means that I could just summon that dude myself. Ooh, there we go. That's a good primitive sword. Let's use that. Well, there's a water source in the middle of the of that little thingy here, and workbench. Okay. So there's that's not there's not everything lost in Mansfield here. This workbench is still useful. Here's a mill. We can mill our wheat here into flour. So here goes another incubus. Succubus. Okay. Oh, I need to use the charge more. I keep forgetting that. Armageddon. Ah, oh, that's where the fireball came from. That's a legendary piece of armor. I've been already very surprised about that uh, move coming in against me. But yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense then. Okay, so we have Mansfield uh, roughly secured. There's only a little bit of XP left to get myself to level 3. So far, so good. There's also a lot of food here everywhere. So... Let's gather some blueberries. 22 blueberries, my god. There's the granary. So... There's one forgotten altar. There's the local cultist's parlor. So, let's rush this guy. I've learned my lesson. So, look at that. This mask is looking pretty good, actually. Way better than the fake moustache, for sure. Can't even salvage the fake, fake moustache. Jeez. So, well, let's salvage the shirt, even if it was divine. That dagger is still a dagger. It doesn't scale with strength. Therefore, not an interesting choice. So I don't want to go into the cultist's altar here. Because that's just a little bit above me. Not that much. Just a little bit. But still a little bit. Let's go rather for this dude here. And, well, almost there. And let's just give those uh, rare items I got another, another second life. And hone them a bit. Oh yeah, I like that dash attack. This is really cool. Cleave, attack in T-shape. Dealing damage to at most three targets. So that sounds extremely weird to deal damage in a T-shape, but whatever. 
So let's put up a little bit of that into endurance as well. And then again in willpower. So level three, hell yeah. We get in there, so yeah, well. I wouldn't call that T-shape, but whatever. So we got the Mansfields down and we got the the little mountain village down, so that's a good start. I'll head over to my new real estate and recover from today's exertions. And I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Oh, there's a merchant. And I hope you guys will enjoy this crazy trip here with me, where we're going to go into this game without any, without any mods helping us out with durability. I'm really looking forward to this because a lot of people hate the game for the durability system. I want to see if I can make my peace with it now that I know how it works. So, drop me your comments down below, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and of course consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. There's daily content coming up from my side, and there's hundreds of videos on my channel to watch and enjoy. So, hope you guys will tune on in, and have a good one. See you soon.